Paul Fundbencher, Paul Fletcher. Paul, thanks so much for your time. A Minister for Urban Infrastructure and Cities. The, uh, oh, actually, Minister for Families and Social Services. Oh, sorry. OK. L old advice I was given. But anyway, <laughs> let's look at the uh, issue today facing the Parliament yep. on... It's a fast-moving environment. It is. Changing Prime Ministers every few months. But anyway, let's t look at the Parliament. Not a great way to finish the year would it be if you lost a, a vote and lost control of the House? Well, what we're focused on is uh, across the range of... Uh, areas where we have responsibilities to the Australian people, taking forward our agenda. For example, um, our agenda in relation to national security uh, and encryption and being able to uh, uh, require um, communications companies, uh, internet companies, to cooperate with, with our national security agencies. Uh, so we've got legislation there that we are taking forward. Uh, that's something we have a... a, a but on offshore processing, as mm -hmm. you heard Richard Di Natale there, he's confident he's got the numbers. And if you lost that vote, that, that's quite an embarrassment to finish the year, isn't it? Well, let's be absolutely clear. The issue here is whether Labor is prepared to support the maintenance of Australia's strong border protection regime. You know, Labor went to the last election saying that their policy on border protection was the same as the Coalition's. Uh, if Bill Shorten and Labor vote with uh, the Greens and the crossbenchers today, as you've just heard the Prime Minister say, that is a very significant weakening of Australia's border protection system. And the risk is that as a consequence, the people smugglers will start up again and we will be right back where we were under the previous Labor government, where we had 50,000 unauthorised arrivals, 1,200 deaths at sea that we know of. So this is what is at stake. Labor tries to tell the Australian people that they can be trusted on border protection. But if Bill Shorten today votes with the Greens mm. and with the crossbenchers, then he is contributing, Labor is being part of a very significant weakening of Australia's border protection system. That is in nobody's interests and uh, that is something that we uh, will be strongly arguing against. Minister, how is this a weakening when we know the government has been quietly bringing children to the mainland anyway? Uh, so we have very extensive resources uh, on Nauru to provide uh, medical treatment. Uh, where it's necessary to remove children uh, for medical treatment, that is occurring. But it's very important that as part of that, we have uh, a proper security assessment rather than uh, what is proposed here, which is that any two doctors uh, could make this decision. That removes uh, uh, the... the that, that's a very significant change to the present system. And as the Prime Minister has said, as the Immigration Minister has said, that presents a very significant threat to the current arrangement. And it's the government. Given you've moved so many children it's the government's off strong view Nauru already, why, why would that be such a pull factor, as Laura it is, questioned? It is the government's strong view, based upon the advice of our security agencies, that this is a material weakening of Australia's border protection system. And bear in mind, we have worked so hard since we came to government in 2013 to fix up the terrible situation we inherited from the previous Labor government... But if it's a weakening, it's a weakening because lost you lost control, control of the House of the Parliament, the House of Reps. That's, uh, that's why. What if I'm going if that's to eventuate today, it's Karen, because of what a, I'm going a loss of is control. The, is the it? merits of the policy decision that Bill Shorten and the Labor Party are taking today. They are walking away from the position that they say they hold, which is to support a strong border protection system. They went to the election in 2016, claiming that there was no difference between the Coalition's position and Labor's position when it comes to border protection. If Bill Shorten and Labor vote today with the Greens, they will be showing what a sham that claim was. And you know who is really at risk here? Mm. The people who are at risk are the people who are likely to be enticed onto people smugglers' votes, votes uh, as a consequence. So that is why uh, the Prime Minister's been very clear, the Immigration Minister's been very clear, our government is very clear. Mm. Uh, we do not support this bill based upon the advice of our security agencies and that is the point we are making very clearly. And as you heard the Prime Minister saying there earlier to Alan Jones, we will be uh, making every effort uh, to continue to make those arguments today in relation to this matter. Minister, if the government can afford to give further income tax uh, cuts to, to workers across Australia, shouldn't it also be able to afford a boost in the New Start payment? Uh, well, let's be clear. The, um, uh, 
99% of people on Newstart also receive additional benefits such as uh, Commonwealth rental assistance or energy supplement. Our focus when it comes to people on the Newstart is getting people off the welfare rolls and into employment. Since we came to government in 2013, there have been 1.1 million new jobs created. In the last year, 100,000 new jobs uh, secured by young Australians. And the number of people on the welfare rolls, 230,000 less than when we came to government. So every time somebody moves from the welfare rolls, moves from unemployment uh, into employment, that's a personal victory for them in terms of a sense of contribution, sense of self-esteem, uh, of course, better financial outcome for them and a better financial outcome for the nation. And so that's why what we're focused on is creating more opportunities for people to move from welfare to work. That's our focus when it comes to Newstart. When it, well, surely it's time to increase it, though. John Howard says it, uh, ACOS says it, the Business Council of Australia make the same point. When will the government see that? Our focus is, first of all, on people who are presently unemployed, assisting them to move into the workforce. Uh, and um, that is our priority when it comes to uh, Australians who are unemployed. We want to get as many people back to work as possible and at the same time provide that important safety net through New Start, uh, through disability support, pension, through parenting payment, through carers allowance, all of the uh, payments that form part of the $176 billion a year we spend on our okay. social security system, a system that must remain sustainable. Under the previous government, uh, the total amount we were spending on social security and welfare was growing at twice the rate that government revenues were growing. Completely unsustainable. We've turned that round, but we've got more work to do to get the budget back to uh, balance. Minister for Families and Social Services, thanks very much Thank for your you. time. We'll talk to you soon.